We started converting our RV's lighting to LED a couple of years ago, replacing our halogen bulbs, fluorescent tubes, and incandescent lights. We took a look at various color choices from warm to natural to cool white. Over time, we upgraded some of our exterior bulbs too, like replacing our patio light with this super bright flat LED and our docking lights with these drop-in replacements. It's been a step-by-step -step process using a variety of bulbs from our favorite LED supplier, M4 Products. We've even arranged for our viewers to get a special discount on the same high-quality bulbs we've been installing in our own RV. You may have seen that we were hanging out with our friends from Tough Top Awnings earlier this year and showed them replacing some of the most common types of bulbs with M4 LEDs. It occurred to us that we have the exact same fixtures in our basement and we'd never gotten around to upgrading them even though the old incandescent lights are really dim and use a lot more power. Since we want really bright work light down here, we're replacing all of them with these cool white LEDs. Since we don't need anything fancy down here, these are M4's less expensive economy series. Since Peyton already did the tutorial video showing us how to do it, swapping them out is a snap. We're replacing the bulbs in every single one of our basement compartments. We're also upgrading the engine light, as well as the one under the hood in our generator compartment. Besides using less power, the upgrade has really increased light output, going from our old dim incandescents to considerably brighter LEDs. We chose Cool White, which is great for work areas. We've also had a need for more light in our closet. We discovered that upgrading isn't always the answer, but adding a whole new light can be an option too. We found these self-contained LED fixtures on M4's website and simply wired one into our current closet light. Now whenever we turn it on, they both come on, making this dark spot really bright for the first time. To see all the lighting changes we've made over the years, check out our entire LED Your RV series. Thanks for watching. Let all of the water drain out of the tank. While Atwood aluminum tanks don't require anode rods, suburban owners should expect their anode to look something like this, pitted and worn, as compared to a brand new rod. Before we do any flushing, Let's take a look inside the tank with our boroscope. What we're seeing is lime scale fragments that have fallen. Here's a look at the heating element, with plenty of lime scale deposits still clinging to. 